All right, gang, back in the shop. I started setting up my table yesterday. I started setting it up a little while ago, but I actually took a little bit more effort in putting, uh, trying to get it right yesterday. Um, we wanted that we got to the leveling process and the company, let me turn you around and explain it. The table comes with these little jack screws underneath the legs to label to level it and my floor is about an inch out the problem is these these screws go up into the bottom of this aluminum leg and it's threaded and once you go so far the screw kicks out to the side there's only a limited amount of bolt so i came up with a solution basically what i came up with is a bracket Got four holes in the back, here in the back. It'll catch carriage head bolts that goes in those slots. Take a piece of all thread and a couple of nuts and make like a, uh, a jack bolt. We'll put four of these on these legs and uh, I think that ought to remedy the situation. All right, just a quick look at uh, how these are going to go together. Here's your base bracket. These these four holes here is the ones that are going to bolt to the leg, and then here's the uh, hole for the jack screw to go in. I welded a nut on the end of these and radiused it some so it would uh, spin around on the floor a little bit easier. I went to get some uh, copper base anodes to put on these to help them uh, spin a little more freely. <laughs> Okay, without getting it too damn tight, because it'll be exactly opposite. This is the arrangement you're going to have. This is going to sit on the floor, and then this nut down here is actually going to loosen and push up against this. These four holes are going to be bolted to the leg. Let me let you look at one. All right, laying down on the job again. I don't know how this is going to work. Or if it's going to work. Get one in. You need about 12 fingers. Get down, man. Man, you get. That one in. No. You gotta get these two in. Ish.
Okay, so you got two. Ding in. I got get number three. What a number three, what a four. Three. Come on out of the way. So you gotta fish them. Up into that track. And then <laughs> into the thing. This is a pain in the butt. There. Three hours and 47 minutes later. These two uh, the joining bolt patterns, if you will. And a damn nylock. Are proven to be big pains in the behind. So we got the damn brackets installed. 
These are just about as low as they can get on this end. This side's a little higher. But if you look down on that other end, down on this other end, they're sitting up pretty high. That's about another inch and a half on this end. The problem is these intermediate legs aren't even touching the ground. And there's no hope of that bolt going another inch. I got a choice of either cutting this leg off and lengthening it or put a two by four block under there. Stop right there. I know what you're thinking. Mo, you're a dumbass. You have those damn screws that we mentioned is a bracket. Got four holes in the back. Here in the back. It'll catch carriage head, carriage head bolts that goes in those slots. To adjust the thing with. So, move the leg up, and then your intermediate legs will touch. Okay, I knew what you was thinking. Adjust the damn stands down to where they're not sticking down below the leg so far. Got that base covered. These are the upper legs. And this is the lower leg. It's about an inch off here and it's probably an inch off over there. The good part is we got these to make contact out in the center. All right, that's just a look at it. I'm going to edit this down a little bit and not kill you all day with the uh, details. But that was one little hurdle we had to jump over. It wasn't that big of a deal. Sometimes as a fabricator, you overbuild things. And uh, that may just be the case here. But we felt like with the small screws that they were using for jack screws from the company, um, once we get the table on it, water in it, and we mishap, happen to have a mishap with a piece of like a piece of quarter inch plate or something, that one of those bolts could fail and then we'd be in problems on down the road. Try to sidestep the fan before the uh, hits it. Anyway, like, share, subscribe, comment. This is Mo Dammit. Tire Creek Ironworks out.